Hello, welcome to Coyote Hills Regional Park. My name is Dino Labiste. I'm a naturalist for East Bay Regional Park District. I'd like to introduce you to a native plant in the sedge family called Thule. We'll take a closer look at its important ecological role in the marsh, as well as the native uses of Thule. Let me introduce you to Thule, or sometimes called bulrush. The long green stems grow from 3 feet to 10 feet tall. The leaves have a well-developed sheath. Thule has a few short leaves at the base of the stems. At the top of the stems are spikelet clusters of seeds. The continuously growing horizontal underground stems, called rhizomes, form dense stands of tule. Tule grows in wet locations, including ponds, lakes, and marshes. This emergent plant can stand a little bit of salt in the water and thrives in brackish water as well as fresh water. Coyote Hills Regional Park is comprised of 1,266 acres of rolling grassland covered hills and marshland. Let's look at the marsh community. A marsh is characterized by emergent aquatic plants like cattails and tule, growing in permanent to seasonal shallow water. Marshes are one of the most productive wildlife habitats in California. Tule provides food, shelter, and nesting habitat for birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. The seeds are an important food source to muskrat, waterfowl like ducks and geese, and perching birds like song sparrows. Tule plays an important ecological role, helping buffer against wind and water forces thereby allowing the establishment of other types of plants and reducing erosion. Coyote Hills Regional Park is on the historic homeland of the Tuibun Ohlone ancestors. Tule has been a part of Ohlone culture for millennia. It's one of the most versatile plants in California. The marsh provided Ohlone communities with an abundance of tule for making various items that was utilized in everyday living. Tule stems have a pith-like interior covered with an outer layer called an epidermis. These features of tule allowed the Tuibun Ohlone ancestors to twist and weave the stems into different utilitarian items. The green tule stems were dried until wilted. The stems then became pliable and bendable. Another unique feature about the tule stem is that it traps air. Tule bundles were used as a form of water transportation and for thatching houses.
Today in our urban communities, we live in a watershed that moves rain directly to our marshes. The rain flows along the streets, down through storm drains, and into the marshes. Along the way, pollutants and heavy metals like lead, zinc, cadmium, and copper travel with the rainwater. Thule is known for removing pollutants and heavy metals from the soil and water. Thule helps to improve water quality. It is something in its roots that remove pollutants. Growing within its roots are fungi. The fungi help to chelate or take away toxic heavy metals. The heavy metals become incorporated into the plant and then it is no longer harmful to humans and wildlife. This process is called bioremediation. Thule communities have great ecological importance, as well as environmental values. Help protect our plants and animals, our natural environment, and our precious connection to them. Thank you for joining me and learning about Thule. Come and visit Coyote Hills Regional Park and the other regional parks. I'll see you on the trails.